Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you people will be, will be fine and enjoying a very sound health. Today I am going to upload a very interesting and uh, informative video tutorial related to performance analysis uh, and design of gallium arsenide based solar cell on scaf 1D. Although it is not my research domain, but uh, it was a request from some Bangladeshi students for uh, uh, making some video tutorials on uh, gallium arsenide uh, solar cells and their simulation. So upon their request, I'm going to upload this uh, video tutorial in order to help them in order to support them. So today I will inform you how we can uh, design uh, gallium arsenide based solar cell structure in scaf 1D simulator and uh, how we can compute its performance and what is uh, its structure, how many layers it has and I will add very informative information in my today's uh, video tutorial that uh, uh, how um, a window uh, layer can improve the performance of uh, any solar cell, especially gallium arsenide uh, uh, based solar cell in scaf 1D as well as lab experimental research point of view. So I am going to share first of all my screen with all of you so that we, you know, we can start from our beginning. Okay, you can see today, uh, I'm going to uh, simulate uh, gallium arsenide based solar cell on scaf 1D. Today, I am going to optimize this performance and uh, I'm going to add some additional uh, uh, window layers in order to improve its performance in order to in increase this efficiency as well. It has been seen that uh, without uh, the addition of window layer in gallium arsenide based solar cell, the performance is extremely degraded. Like uh, uh, it has been seen that without the addition of window layer in structure of gallium arsenide, the efficiency uh, almost limit to 17%. That is extremely uh, lower as compared to uh, the actual uh, power conversion efficiency of gallium arsenide based solar cells in the search work as well as on the labs uh, experimental results. So we need to think some additives that can be imported in order to improve the performance of uh, solar cell. So today I'm going to express about the impost importance of uh, uh, different materials that can be used from for uh, any a particular solar cell in order to increase the performance and power conversion efficiency. So first of all, I would like to introduce about my structure and different layers of uh, today's solar cell that is being simulated on scaf 1D. Uh, so this is the basically window layer uh, that is basically aluminum gallium arsenide with different composition 0.8 for aluminum uh, for gallium 0.2. And uh, almost all the uh, solar cell have almost same kind of structure when we are going to simulate in any particular simulation tool. Like we have uh, from the bottom, we have a window layer. Just I have explained that this window layer will increase some way somehow our power conversion efficiency and performance. And it has been seen that with the addition of this window layer, the performance and power conversion efficiency of gallium arsenide based solar cell can be increased up to 30% from 17%. Without use of uh, this window layer, the efficiency is limited to only 17%. So it can be very helpful if some way, somehow with this window layer, with this window layer, we can increase its power conversion efficiency. And next layer is basically as usual, this basic, basically a meter gallium arsenide and type emitter layer. And then there is a base gallium arsenide. And then there is a layer of back surface field. And in the last, there is a layer of substrate. Each and every solar cell has almost a similar and typical uh, parametric uh, values and uh, layers in almost all the simulation tasks, but it can be uh, available with the uh, addition of the window layer and it can be available without the presence of the window layer. But one should make sure that 
the presence of uh, window layer definitely can increase the performance of any solar cell. I will prove it that the use of this window layer can improve not only our performance, but other factors as well. And our power conversion efficiency will increase up to 30%. So this was all about my structure. Uh, incident ray will be incidented uh, from the bottom of the structure from first of all on uh, this window layer and then emitter and then base and the BSF and then substrate. Typically all the solar cell have almost same structure. I have just explained. One can use a window layer, one cannot use uh, the addition of the window layer. If he or she will use a window layer, definitely the performance and parameter will also be improved. And uh, now I am going to simulate this structure and then I will uh, check its performance and then I will try to add some important analysis that can be very important. One thing must important uh, to know that this window should be lightly doped and its thickness should be light. If it's will be, it will be highly doped and its thickness will be large, uh, the carrier mobility will be lower and uh, 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 carrier mobility will be lower and overall performance will be degraded. So whenever we are going to select any window in addition of any, uh, any solar cell simulation, we must take its uh, thickness extremely lower and stopping concentration should also be lower in order to get better performance. So it is a one of the important note that, that must be noted that the window uh, layer should be lightly doped and its thickness should be light. So both things should be light. If it will be more thick and dense, it will reduce the carrier mobility towards its electrode, towards its terminals, and then there will be uh, recombinational defects that can definitely degrade the performance of uh, our solar cells. So I'm going to simulate the structure so that I can get uh, the, uh, the optimized value, and then I will add what kind of performance uh, analysis and key analysis we can perform by using SCAP for particularly uh, this gallium arsenide based solar cell uh, spectrum. Okay, I'm going to simulate today my structure by clicking single shot. And one of the most important thing, key important thing I need to uh, mention over here, a lot of people don't know about that. Whenever you are going to simulate any structure, either it is paroviscite, either it is solar cell based simulation on SCAP 1D, you should keep your V2 value a little bit high. Like if I am talking about the paroviscite, tin based paroviscite, we know that the highest value for tin base is 0.8. So you should keep the value of V2 about 1.2 and 1.3 and mark this button stopped after VOC. If you will keep uh, this V2 value lowered as compared to actual value, it will definitely return you an error. That is convergence errors. Most of the researcher and most of the students always feels this kind of problem. So I am going to add solution for all those. So I'm going to start my simulation by clicking calculate single shot. Okay, we need to wait a, a few seconds while my computation and my analysis being carried out while my simulation is being carried out, then I can expect uh, my performance and I can relate what uh, addition has provided me uh, with the addition of the window layer in my structure. Okay, my simulation has been completed. Now I'm going towards the analysis of the performance of my today's gallium arsenide based solar cell on scale 1D. Okay, you can see that the highest VOC value is 1.16, short circuit current value 30.80, fill factor 81.35, and efficiency is limited to 29.15. And very important thing, one must can simulate this structure without the addition of the window layer with the same gallium arsenide based solar cell. And definitely he or she will, uh, uh, judge that without the addition of the window layer, this efficiency will be limited to about 17% with degradation of fill factor, short circuit current value or VOC. And we know that for, uh, for solar cell simulation, especially for gallium arsenide based solar cell simulation, the efficiency uh, is about 30 plus and the VOC value is almost 1.1 something like that. It is a little bit uh, more 
uh, advanced as compared to periviscite and uh, either tin base or lead base but we know that solar cell manufacturing and technology is little bit expensive so therefore we are moving towards the uh, the uh, manufacturing design and simulation of periviscite so periviscite solar cell have their own advantages and solar cell has simple solar cell has its own advantage so it was my performance that has been computed by the addition of the window layer in my structure for specially particularly gallium arsenide based solar cell so now next thing what kind of graph one person can compute from scap 1d once again i'm repeating my words for more information you can check my past videos as well this is the current and voltage characteristic curve that is one of the most important this is exponentially increasing curve one person can also check other graphs like i'm going to show over here we can check the carrier mobility uh, with respect to distance electron holes as well and similarly we can also check the quantum efficiency graph as well one of the most important parameter you can check quantum efficiency of your device or your structure that is being simulated in scav 1d either it is periviscite either it is solar cell base so similarly you can uh, check other parameter as well now i am going to express most important thing about uh, uh, today's tutorial after the simulation what we can do after the simulation we can check different performance analysis by varying the different parameters of our structure like we can check the uh, thickness effect we by increasing or decreasing the thickness of our emitter layer uh, what can impact uh, higher thickness uh, on put on our performance and similarly we can vary the band gap we can check the what effect will provide the variation of the band gap over the performance defect density uh, interfacing defect density and then electron affinity value doping concentration temperature there are a lot of key analysis that one person can perform while computation of not only for periviscite solar cell simulation but also gallium arsenide based solar cell performance on scap 1d from today's lecture i would like to conclude a few things that a person can also uh, simulate very easily any kind of uh, a silicon based solar cell it, any kind of gallium arsenide based solar cell any kind of periviscite solar cell either tin based or lead based or tin or lead based in scav 1d and it is very helpful simulation tool for all kind of solar cells performance analysis so uh, in the end i would like to compare my a uh, few brief comparison between gallium arsenide based uh, structure and basically between the periviscite structure we know that uh, in periviscite structure we have some uh, key uh, layers similar similarly like a uh, silicon based or gallium arsenide based solar cell structure in, in periviscite normally we have front and back metal contacts like this substrate and this window layer and we have uh, then etl elect electron transport layer and whole transport materials just similar to base and emitter but with the addition of absorber layer we don't have absorber layer a periviscite layer in uh, the structure of uh, uh, gallium arsenide based solar cell or other silicon uh, based solar cell so the plus thing the uh, positive thing about the periviscite the availability of absorber layer this absorber layer is basically not available in any kind of gallium arsenide in in any kind of uh, silicon based solar cell spectrum so we have already seen that and in my previous uh, video lecture tutorials you can easily check that what advantage can add to performance while we are adding some periviscite layer to our structure definitely uh, it always provides uh, a better absorption ability and uh, and other parameter as well but in case of uh, uh, solar cell silicon based or gallium arsenide based we don't have the availability of the periviscite layer in that case we have tentative these layers like window layer like emitter base and then bsf layer and then substrate so i hope today's lecture will be very important for those people who are currently working on uh, the simulation of uh, uh, silicon based or gallium arsenide based solar cell mm, performance analysis simulation 
on any kind of simulator i strongly recommend you you can use scare 1d if you don't know how it will work you can watch my videos you can easily get information and uh, uh, if you have still any question you can uh, put comments in my video session i will try my level best to answer your question and answers i hope this session will be very healthy and informative for all those people who are working in this domain once again thankful to all of you for listening me for cooperating me and uh, uh, stay blessed take care allah hafiz